what's going on guys it's omni and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about some of the best guns that you can start off black ops 4 with so that way you can dominate as soon as you turn the game on now i'm going to be talking about some guns that you unlock later down the line and i kind of want to give you a consensus about what the community is kind of saying there's a lot of things going on right now on twitter and on twitch on you know all over social media and on youtube everybody's kind of talking about different things and i've kind of collected everything that i've found so far to give you guys the best tips that i've figured out per from personal use and also from you know some of the pro players who's a hot much higher level than a lot of us uh, who've tried a lot more guns a lot more play time i want to give you guys their recommendations as well so let's just jump right into it so right now it seems like the assault rifles and the tactical rifles are dominating the game there's a couple of submachine guns that aren't too bad but for the earlier levels it seems like you're better off sticking with assault rifles if you just booted the game up and you're level one you're gonna have default classes i recommend using the one with the swordfish because that's a tactical rifle that you unlock at level 55 and if you have a permanent unlock token from playing the beta and reaching max level i recommend using that gun for a couple of games until you unlock create a class to see if you like it um and real quick i'm going to talk about the swordfish a little bit later but it seems to be one of the best guns in the game so that's why i'm recommending you use it in the default class so that way you know if you enjoy it because it is a four round burst weapon i know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about four round burst so use it for the default class if you like it use your permanent unlock token on that because it seems to be one of the better guns with that being said let's move on to some of the guns that you unlock earlier in the game so like i said i definitely recommend sticking to the assault rifles the icr7 is the one that you get right out of the box and that gun is really really good i was using it a ton because i wasn't a fan of the i think mx9 is the submachine gun that you first start with it's definitely okay uh but i prefer the icr7 because it's really good at long range it's kind of a laser especially if you put on i think grip uh, 2 is a thing for icr7 and you're just absolutely gonna melt people at longer range it's really good at medium range as well um, but it does have a lower damage profile as is usual with some of the lasers and previous call of duty games so i would actually recommend the rampart 17 which is the first assault rifle that you get right after the icr now when i unlocked the rampart 17 i was hesitant to even use it because i liked the icr7 it's a very friendly gun for people who are new to call of duty people who aren't very good with their aim and managing recoil in call of duty games so that's what i would recommend if you're brand new to the franchise but the rampart i unlocked it i was like ah, i don't even know if i want to try it because i really like the icr it's got great recoil it's definitely something that you know i would recommend to people but i figured you know what it's a new call of duty it's a new gun i unlocked let me give it a try honestly guys i'm so glad that i did because the rampart 17 is in my opinion way better than the icr now at long ranges use the icr i have a class set up for both but the rampart 17 actually shoots a little bit slower but higher damage and i still think the recoil is very manageable so it's definitely better at medium range and it can sort of do okay close range you're still going to get melted by things like the spitfire and the sog um so i wouldn't really recommend it close range if you can avoid that but i think it holds its own and the fact that it has a higher damage profile than the icr I think I do better with a close range than the ICR, but that's just me. Um, like I said, it definitely shines medium range and it feels like most of the interactions that I've been getting into have been medium range engagements. It's not like black ops three, where a lot of the engagements were very close range. Um, so I definitely would recommend the rampart 17. If you've just booted up the game, you've gotten create a class. Once you unlock it, stick with that and level that up. And that's actually going to be probably the best gun that you can get for quite a while. The first two submachine guns that you get are the MX-9 and the GKS. I had some people in pubs recommend the GKS to me and I didn't like the gun. It just, I, I, it seems like it has too much recoil for the amount of damage that it outputs. It doesn't seem very consistent to me. It makes me want to hip fire, but when I hip fire, I miss a lot of shots. So I want to aim down sights, but then it's got more recoil. So I don't know. I couldn't, I can't recommend the GKS. It's just not for me. Um, again, the MK9 seems to be better from what I can tell and from, you know, from other people saying things like that. But, you know, I don't really like the earlier submachine guns in the game. The Spitfire is a 
very close range weapon and if you do happen to unlock it i would definitely make a class with it and give it a try especially if you're more of the run and gun type of player um, because it melts people close range it's just that the rate of fire is insane on the spitfire so once you unlock that make a class for it give it a try if it's your cup of tea i think you're gonna really really enjoy that type of weapon um, again high rate of fire very high damage output at close range but lots of recoil so it can't really perform outside of that range um, but it's definitely worth noting uh, again I'm not a huge fan of the submachine guns right out of the box, so I would stick to the assault rifles if I were you, but I just wanted to give you a quick recap of them so that way you kind of have an idea as to why I'm not recommending them, but you can give them a try. I recommend you try them because why not? You know, we might have different play styles. Um, you know, I've been using torque, so I've been playing a lot with the with the razor wire and the barricade, and that just makes me a much more defensive player. I'm not really running and gunning. Um, I would use ruin if I were you. If you're running and gunning, you want that grappling hook because it kind of gives you the jump on some of the enemies and you can kind of grapple right above them so you know if they're head glitching kind of around a corner you grapple hook hook up and you can land and spray um, that's what I would recommend if you want to use the Spitfire but with that being said let's move on to the tactical rifles um, because like I said earlier the swordfish definitely seems to be something that people are starting to catch on to uh, you unlock it at level 55 I would use the permanent unlock token on it if I were you and you've tried it right like don't you know you have the option of playing with the default class that has the swordfish so jump in a couple different lobbies try it out see if you like it uh, and if you do drop that permanent unlock token on it if you got to level 40 in the beta personally I didn't play the beta for my own reasons I didn't want to play the beta so again I recommend giving it a try um, it's it's everyone can try it it's a four round burst weapon I was surprised at how well I was doing with it when I was level one level two you know before I unlocked create a class I was getting double triple kills with it at medium range uh, uh, because it's just it just a really powerful weapon and it, even though it's a four-round burst it that makes it more accurate plus it just puts a lot of bullets down range because they do fire pretty fast even though it's a burst weapon so give that a try but I haven't really used too many other tactical rifles I haven't really heard too much about the other tactical rifles at the moment um, so that's the one that I would definitely recommend if you have the option of unlocking it early now circling back to the assault rifles the vapor actually seems to be the best gun that people are recommending right now from what I can tell on YouTube and Twitter this this seems to be the gun that people are liking the most uh, because it's got a decent rate of fire decent damage and decent recoil it's kind of a, a very well-rounded weapon that can perform really well at medium range decently enough at long range and it can handle its own close range as opposed to the rampart 17 and the low damage of the icr so this gun is something that i would highly recommend you give it uh, try it out uh because like i said a lot of people are talking about it personally i haven't used it so i can't say for sure but i know that a lot of people are talking about it and i know that people tend to say that it's one of the best guns right now um at least for launch weekend so i would feel bad releasing this video not talking about that weapon knowing that a lot of people are saying that it's one of the best guns so if you guys get to level 37 or whatever it is that you unlock it uh definitely give it a try because it sounds like that might be the best gun for launch uh right when the game comes out six months from now who knows this is probably going to change and if it does i'll be sure to upload a video talking about the best guns later down the line but for right now it sounds like uh the vapor is the one that you should be using and should be striving towards but until then i would say the rampart 17 is probably your best bet have a class with the icr just for the long range engagements and then throw on the spitfire if you want the on just an extra class to go for like close range engagements uh, and then use those three classes all the way up until uh, level 30 something when you unlock the vapor now of course as we get more information I'll release a full best class video where I talk about all the different you know perks and attachments and everything like that uh, but right now there's so much going on with the with the create a class system there's so many little things to unlock and different guns and everything that I just wouldn't feel right releasing a best class setup video right now uh, because like I said I haven't tried all the guns I haven't tried all the attachments. I haven't unlocked all the perks and everything like that. So I don't want to go ahead and say I know what the best class setup is, but I am working out and I am trying to figure that out. Um, and I'm, what I do know that I will be sure to let you guys know. Um, for now, I just want to remind you guys of what I mentioned in my last video where I released a book, a free ebook that you can download for the next couple of days. After that, it's going to cost money. Uh, but it's a free book talking about how you can actually uh, grow on YouTube and on Twitch and on Instagram and any other social media platform where you would create content. Uh, it's like 130 four pages or something like that it's a full book that i'm giving away to you guys for free uh in exchange for you leaving a review on that book on amazon like i said it's free on the kindle app 
go to the link in the description download that book uh, and let me know what you think with a review on it I would greatly appreciate that uh, and with that being said this is pretty much the end of the video this is where I'm gonna ask you guys to actually drop a comment down below telling me what gun you're using that way I can get some more data I can kind of figure out what other people are saying because uh, I always want to have the, the latest up-to-date information so that way I can bring it to you guys and you can actually improve your gameplay um, so let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite gun uh, do you disagree with anything that I said in the video um, drop a thumbs up on the video if this helped you or if you found it entertaining or anything like that subscribe to my channel if you're new around here smack that bell button boy and I would really really appreciate it so you know the next time I upload more Call of Duty Black Ops 4 videos and that's been it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been OmniArc I will talk to you guys again soon peace